the vector or source of the virus. Remember, it can't live by itself. It lives in a host and copies itself until it kills the host. But there is something in Africa that lives alongside of a biological host and that is the well or the vector for the virus. Scientists have searched for years, decades since they, Ebola first broke out to find the vector. Fruit bats were tested, monkeys, green monkeys were tested, um, all kinds of little animals and things like that were tested and they all proved negative. Thing is, the thing about finding the vector is this, if there is a living host, an animal, a bat, a monkey, whatever, and it is living with this killer virus, then we can backtrack and find out how the host is keeping the virus from killing it, and then we maybe could make a vaccine. But it has not been found yet. All these news reports about about it, saying like, it's like the common cold or is total bullshit. It is comp super dangerous. And I want to say that it is unconscionable to bring back anyone that has this fatal hemorrhagic disease into the United States or any country that doesn't have this disease. Because there is no cure. The mortality rate is off the charts to survive it. Like they say on the news, all they can do is manage it, but they don't know how to beat it. So what I think is that these doctors and other patients that were brought back to these hospitals, the only reason they were brought back is because these hospitals want a lot of research money to study this and find a cure. Well, that's real nice, but you don't bring something like this into a, into a country. If it gets loose, it can cause widespread death, panic, all kinds of real problems. The Ebola is not like um, something, a movie where you, the scientists look at it and 45 minutes later they got a cure. There is no cure for it. It is lethal, extremely dangerous, and is a huge, in my opinion, national security risk as far as the, for the health of the country. So, that is what the Ebola virus is and is not. I would never bring anyone back into, into the United States with it. Never. It, it's just too dangerous if it spreads. Even if it spreads and it's contained, the widespread panic that, that could be caused could really disrupt a lot of things in our nation. And it's, it's, it's just insane to bring a potential pandemic plague like the Ebola virus into a country, any country, that does not have it if they've not found the vector and they've not found the host that it lives in and they've not found the cure. So this may be, the Ebola, uh, the Ebola outbreak may be what Nostradamus predicted as far as um, a worldwide plague that kills two thirds of, of uh, the world. Maybe, who knows? I mean, I, I study prophecy um, I don't know for sure, but all I can say is, is you don't want to catch this one. It, this one is really, really, really bad. And I hope that that clears up what Ebola is in my layman's terms or just simple terms. Thank you.